This is a video from section 12.5. We're going to take a look at example two in the lecture notes. It says, find parametric equations and symmetric equations for the line passing through the points negative 8, 1, 4 and 3, negative 2, 5. To find the equation of a line in 3 space, we need a point that's on the line and a vector that runs parallel to the line we want. But in this example, we're given two points. With these two points, we can actually find a vector that runs parallel to the line we want. Now, I'm going to suppose that negative 8, 1, 4 is my initial point, and 3, negative 2, 5 is my terminal point. So V is equal to, now the X component will be 3 minus negative 8. Now, the y component will be negative 2 minus 1, and the z component will be 5 minus 4. And when I simplify this down, I get 11, negative 3, 1. So v is a vector that runs parallel to the line we want. Now we get to choose a point, and I claim you can choose any point you want. Now, I'm going to choose P, which is equal to 3, negative 2, 5. Both points lie on the line. It doesn't matter which point you choose. Now, for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the vector equation first. I know it didn't ask for it, but I thought it'll be more natural to show you how to get the um, parametric equations from the vector equation. So let's do that first. So let's write down the vector equation for the line. So I'm going to say x, y, z. This vector is equal to, now, it's the position vector for the point 3, negative 2, 5. So I'm going to write the vector 3, negative 2, 5. Plus t times the vector that runs parallel to the given line. So in this case, the vector is 11, negative 3, 1. So I'm going to write 11, negative 3, 1. And remember, I want to stress to you that t is a real number. So this is the vector representation of a line. Now, what I'm going to do is write the parametric equations. I think this is going to come off more natural. That's my hope. Now, to get the parametric equations, we're going to equate components. So let's start off with x. That's on the left side. And I'm going to take 3, and I'm going to add 11t. So I get 3 plus 11t. y equals, I'm going to get negative 2. And then I'm going to take t times negative 3 for negative 3t. So y equals negative 2 minus 3t. And z is equal to 5 plus 1t. And again, I want to stress to you, I know it may sound redundant, but it's worth repeating. T is a real number. T is any real number I want. And so this is how you can represent the line another way. Now we got one more method, and that's symmetric equations. And I think this is a more natural flow.
Now, what we want to do from here, start with x equals 3 plus 11t. And we're going to solve for t. When we solve for t, we get x minus 3 over 11. And then y equals negative 2 minus 3t. Solve for t. We get y plus 2 divided by negative 3. And then z. Let's remind ourselves. This is equal to 5 plus t. Or 5 plus 1t. When I solve for t, I get z minus 5. So if t equals x minus 3 over 11, and t equals y plus 2 over negative 3, and t equals z minus 5, it's natural to say x minus 3 over 11 is equal to y plus 2 divided by negative 3 is equal to z minus 5. And so this is how you express it using symmetric equations. So in other words, this is how you express the equation of a line using symmetric equations. Okay, that'll do it for this video for section 12.5. And we worked example two from the lecture notes. Okay, thank you.